pleasure to see you again, my friend. I take it you received our invitation. Good, good. You of all people should be present. When the true brothers of the faith seized control of the vault, I feared the worst. Yet in adversity were we blessed with the promise of peace between man and dragon through Vidofnir's timely rescue of an innocent child. Timely, I say, though miraculous or providential might better describe the event. The gods themselves could not have devised a more fitting symbol of hope. Needless to say, we could scarce let such an opportunity pass us by. Which is why I set about making formal arrangements for a peace conference between our peoples. You and yours have done more to bring us together than any, and it is only right that you attend. But I confess, that is not the only reason I would be glad to have you there. Given Nidhogg's implacable opposition to the peace, it is possible that he and his followers may attempt to disrupt proceedings, in which event your presence would be a comfort to all in attendance. Pray understand, I have no wish to invite the Worm's ire. But if our fractured nation is to heal, if we are to move forward as a people united, then we must do whatever is necessary to bring about lasting change. <sighs> it is nothing, it is nothing. Lucia cautioned me against giving vent to my passions lest my wounds reopen. It has not been easy reaching out to our opponents in Ishgard, many of whom sympathized with the actions of the true brothers. But in so doing, we have limited the influence of the Zealots. The people are ready, my friend. This conference must go ahead. I knew you would understand. The conference will take place on the border of Ishgardian and Dravanian territory in Falcon's Nest. Lucia is there, seeing to the final preparations, even as we speak. Pray join her at your earliest convenience. It would not do for the guest of honor to arrive late, after all. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A drink. We should make time for one. Once the conference is concluded, I mean. By my reckoning, tis long overdue.